Hey everyone, today we are starting our 100% walkthrough for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're going to be doing absolutely everything in this game and picking up all of the trophies. Now for those of you that might not be aware, this game was chosen by my Patreon supporters just like all the games I cover on this channel. So if you like what I do here and you'd like to throw in some support, you can click the link down in the description, become a patron, and vote on the games I play in the future. So, anyways, let's get started. So, they have the story so far. We can get a recap from the first game. Let's do it. When there is so much to tell, where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars, and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them or 
chance to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, and the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Okay, so now that we've gotten that recap from the first game, let's start a new game. Bonus item eligible saved data. Confirm whether or not any saved data on your PlayStation 5 console qualifies you to receive bonus items. So you can confirm if you have any of the following bonus item related save data. Um, so if you did the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo, there's a Kupo Charm and Survival set. In addition, completing the Nibelheim portion will allow you to skip it in the main game. I did not do the demo. Uh, there's Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, that'll give you the Leviathan Summoning Materia. I do have that. And the Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode Intermission will give you the Rama Summoning Materia, and I do have that as well. You can check to see if you have eligible save data at any time using Check Saved Data under bonuses on the title screen. So let's go ahead and check. And we get our uh, Leviathan Summoning Materia by selecting DLC slash bonuses in the system section of the main menu, as well as the Rama Summoning Materia. All right, so camera controls. Select your preferred camera controls. Use the right stick to test camera movement. We'll just stick with the default. Use normal controls for panning the camera horizontally and vertically. Then there's wireless controller speaker settings. Toggle whether or not sounds such as dialogue or effects will play from your wireless controller speaker. Uh, I will turn that off. Sound will not play from your wireless controller speaker. Uh, difficulty, select the difficulty of the game. The setting can be changed at any time in the options menu. We're gonna go with dynamic. Enemy difficulty adjusts automatically based on your skill level. Select this if you love the thrill of the fight. And then combat style, select which type of combat you prefer. I'm gonna go with active for those who want to have complete control over their actions in combat. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... <sighs> The fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter.
course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up, which, which must have been caused zero, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier right. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick! Get the camera off him! Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Right, we're playing as Zack. Let's catch up. Take him down. Enemies take him down. Focus on that flame trooper, he's kind of nasty.
we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. At the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. <laughs> Got some fiends in our dwell! Let's go. Here we go. We get to play a Sephiroth. He 
was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. still got parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Oh, there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Main menu. Press the options button to open the main menu. From there, you can review your party's stats, inspect your inventory, and change your equipment. You can also adjust various settings from the options section of the system menu. Movement options. Press circle to roll forward or jump over certain terrain. The action cloud performs will change depending on the environment. All right, so we are where Cloud grew up. Let's uh, look around and uh, eavesdrop on some villagers. And talk to our companions here. Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? They got anything worth eating? So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Talking a little close to that guy. Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? We're so glad you're here. Thank you. How's it going over there? You done yet? Just a bit more. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you here. Whoa. Good. We need to get this finished ASAP. Never know when they're going to attack us next. To think I'd get to see Sephiroth with my own eyes. In all my years, I've never felt so alive. He's taller than I expected. Stronger, too, I'll wager. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you here. Can you show us some magic? Oh, so you're who they sent to survey the reactor. We're so glad you're here. These fiends truly have us at our wit's end. What a relief! Well, these people seem very happy that we're here, especially Sephiroth. Did you come from Midgar too? Must have been quite the trek. A 
don't think you have much chance of catching that chicken. <laughs> She's trying to help me round up food for dinner. But at this rate, we'll be out here all night. Hey, what's with our like? Tell me, please! Bow wow wow, bow wow wow, he's a good boy who never stops. Keeping our city safe for each and every one. <laughs> Nothing we can do about the mountain and all that, but at least we can keep our village safe. What? Is he like Sephiroth too? He's not on duty. Alright, so you can see we have a chest over here. Inside is a mega potion. Oh, are you super strong? You boys are gonna be well stocked for your trip up the mountain. Believe you me. It'll be a right feast. Oh my gosh, Cloud! Have you gone to see your mother yet? I need to see my mother, but I'm checking out the rest All of the village need first. To do is get a good night's rest. This country's not kind to folks who brave it without a clear head. Counting on you to get rid of those fiends. You'll see. What's wrong, my little tears? It isn't like you to be making such a fuss. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. He's a good boy who never stops. Keeping our city safe for each and every. Well, I'll be. Cloud, look at you, a man grown. Okay, let's head up the stairs. I don't think the kids are listening. Oh! What a bunch! I already feel safe now that soldiers are here. Okay, let's check over here. Nothing to report here, sir. Guys having fun vaulting stuff. We have another chest. Mega potion. After the trip here, I'll never know. I'd wager soldiers eat more than your average Joe. The Mako pipeline's a lifesaver. I'd never be able to get all this done without it. Midgar wishes its water tasted as fresh as ours. Please just let it be a quiet day. Everyone keeps their eyes out for fiends in the underbrush, but I've seen some that will swoop down from above. That's why I make sure to watch the skies like a hawk. Alright, well, have fun watching the sky. If anyone on the survey team is feeling hungry, be sure to stop by. We've got sandwiches stuffed with Evil Eyes. Sure feels good to have soldiers on our side. Is it fun being a soldier? Don't worry. We'll get your stuff where it needs to be. I guess you're not allowed to tell us what's inside all these, huh? Nope. Top secret, my dude. If you're feeling tense, you could always join one of the group stretching sessions in the square. Goodness! Is that you, Cloud? If anyone on the survey team is feeling hungry, be sure to stop by. We've got sandwiches stuffed with evil eyes, famous in this court. Soldier, good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go?
Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. I devoured that sandwich. Everyone, please calm down. Talk to her again. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches, don't you? They're exactly like the ones Mrs. Tyler used to make. I'm sure you must have taken them as snacks on a play date before. Wait, did you go on any play dates? <laughs> you feel stuffed. I've got room for more. Claudia must be so proud of what a fine young man you've become. Take care of yourself. You'll be spending the night at home, won't you? Maybe I'll pay your mother a visit. Oh, but I shouldn't impose. You two must have a lot of catching up to do. Don't make any trouble for supper. You will not have room for supper tonight. You don't want to keep your mother waiting, do you? All right, three sandwiches is all I can handle. You don't want to keep your mother waiting, do you? That's it. Just so you notice a little bit longer. All the stops for your team. I'm eager to talk to him too, but now is not the time. Don't make any trouble. I'll make sure the survey team gets a heaping helping of our best produce. Everyone, please calm down. I'm eager to talk to him too, but now is not the time. Hello, buddy. Sephiroth's in there right now. We kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? You want me to take your photo? Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film on. Uh, who are you again? I'm eager to talk to him too. But now mind asking Sephiroth to come out? You want me to take your photo? Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film on. Uh, who are you again? All right, so Sephiroth's clearly in there talking I'm to the mayor. To talk to him too, but now is not the time. Everyone, please calm down. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. I'm eager to talk to him too. You've grown so much time. since the last time we saw you. Oh, did you come looking for Don't Tifa? Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. <laughs> if you did, I'm sorry to tell you that she's not home at the moment. The least down. you could do was say hello to us, as if we're strangers. There's no need to be so standoffish. I did come say hello to you. I'm eager to talk to him too. Alright, nothing over here. Everyone, please calm down. Rest up tonight. Got a big day Don't tomorrow. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Our village is truly in your debt. Thank goodness Shinra's here. We're safe. Now I can go back to hanging my laundry outside without worrying about a monster stealing it. Bet you wouldn't mind if the survey... When I grow up, I want to be just like Sephiroth. Okay, let's go ahead and climb this water tower. Getting your bearings. Press the touchpad to view your current position on a map of the area, or to check your progress in the story. So, let's do that. You can see our map here, and if we press L2, it'll go to story. And we're on home sweet home, explore Nibelheim. And the old water tower, climb the water tower. On it. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away, you know that. Uh huh. The old water tower complete. Now, what does it want us to do? Isn't telling us. Okay, but we do have markers on the map. The 
survey team is the coolest. Man, why didn't I enlist like everyone else when I had the chance? I have the perfect scarf for Sephiroth. It looks so handsome in it. Oh my god, Mom! You told me you made that for Dad, for your wedding anniversary. <laughs> She's so willing to give away her anniversary gift. <laughs> so, what do you think of our day? Who was it that used to say how scary the military was? Okay, let's check out the general store. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're just... You look so different. Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? You a soldier? You a soldier? Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? <laughs> Where is the other kid that's talking? Oh, back there. Alright, nothing too exciting here in the storm. Be sure to rest up tonight. Got a long day tomorrow. I gotta catch a glimpse of Sephiroth. Everybody's so excited about Sephiroth. everyone just for a bit could you keep up arms tight to the ears and spread those hands keep your arms straight feel the stretch all the way to your fingertips well you tried good, Bob. good. keep them straight now stretch that spine. Now lift your heels. Hold it. Hold it. Well, good to see them getting some I like exercise. To see how soldiers keep in shape. Oh, here off duty. Isn't that nice? All right. Back here, there's a bunch of kitty cats. Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. Weak legs betray a weak mind. <laughs> Takes me back. Oh, I came back for round two. So that's pretty much the village. Make sure you're prepared for a tough hike tomorrow. Let's go in here. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, Can I touch it? let's actually go over here. Huh? You went to my place? Yeah. I figured you might be there. Yeah, Tifa, you might be here. What's this? Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Huh, maybe she's with all the other kitties. We'll have to check. Let's go upstairs. Oh, tried to open it. It's being stubborn.
Look at that phone, old school. All right, so we have a chest in here. A bottle of ether. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> I did. Oh, and I did more than that. You went through my stuff? Yes. I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You, you asshole! asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was curious. Alright, we have a piano here. Playing the piano. Inspect pianos you encounter to start tickling the ivories and perform pieces using sheep music you have acquired. Did you actually play it? Went to town on it. Okay, so I am absolutely not good at this, but you can uh, change your chord types with uh, left and right on the D-pad. You can change your octave with square and circle. Uh, you can swap between monotones, uh, semitones, and minors. Like so. Up on the D-pad switches between chords and monotones. L2, holding that, goes to semitones, and uh, L1 is minors, so you can like, do that, and then uh, you can hold R2 for uh, semitones on sharps. And yeah, if you can actually pull this off, then I'm very impressed, but I'm not very good. That's the best we're gonna get out of me. So let's finish by pressing the options button. End your performance, quit. Wow, where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well shit, you're a merc of many talents. Why thank you. Uh, I didn't think it was all that great, but maybe uh, Cloud embellished the story a bit. Okay, this is our house. Then I stopped by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Ugh, fine. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. 
An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. Alrighty, it is time for us to go to the inn. Any trouble for Sephiroth? They really want to see Sephiroth. They don't care about me. Come on, that's enough. Please go back to your homes. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Please, everyone, give them space. City folk are so sophisticated. I can only imagine what their lives must be like. We need to leave these men in peace so that they can rest up for tomorrow. <laughs> We're all thrilled. Come to on, have that's you. enough. Please, go back to your homes. Mm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Rest at the end once you are done exploring. Let's talk some more to this guy. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. <laughs> We're all thrilled to have you. I've been working on some new techniques. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Okay, I shall join him. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I 
I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Sprinting! Hold R2 or press. L3 to sprint until you stop moving. While running, you will automatically perform terrain actions. Using your weapons, press square to use your weapon and attack. For example, if you find boxes marked with the Shinra logo, try breaking them open. They may contain useful items, including Mako shards that restore MP. Note that you cannot attack in certain locations. All right, main scenario, the mission begins. Let's follow Tifa. And we got a box. Break it. <laughs> got a mega potion. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time. But none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Let's speed this up, Tifa. Wow, that, wow, those deer are jumping really weird. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. 
Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. We've got some buildings here. Mount Nebel Trailhead. Oh, we can break these. Got a high potion. and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that fighting as cloud press square to attack with cloud sword holding the button will allow you to follow up with a sweeping slash press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo all right, here we go. We got insectoid chimeras. Let's finish this. Staggered learning. We got a trophy. We staggered in it. You're done. Bye. <laughs> and I got this. Win a battle. Think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. All right, so whenever you defeat an enemy, what was this? Photo mode. Press square while on the pause menu or main menu to open photo mode. While active, time will stop allowing you to manipulate the camera and apply filters for that perfect shot. If none of the default filters tickle your fancy, do not worry, you will unlock more as you progress through the game. Uh, so when you defeat enemies, they will go into enemy intel. So we have Insectoid Chimera. It's biological and grounded. Uh, large insects that infest mountainous regions. At first blush, they appear to be a disturbing amalgamation of other anthropods. Their centipede tails ensure they have no blind spots. They are definitely weird. All right, what do we got? That is, oh, initiating combat. Enemies will grow alerted to your presence as you approach. Once the gauge fills up, combat will ensue. Press square before it fills to get the jump on your foes, or retreat to avoid a fight. If you land the first strike, your ATB gauge will fill slightly at the start of battle. You can also run away after the battle has begun by putting some distance between you and the enemy. All yours. Alright, so these are Cuvaldons. Using ATB commands. Press X to open the commands menu. From there, you can expend ATB charges to activate abilities, cast spells, or use, or use items. The ATB gauge will gradually fill as time passes, as well as whenever you attack foes with square. All right, so we'll use the command here. Uh, let's go with Braver. Strike your foe with a mighty swing of your sword. Activate while airborne to increase potency. And we'll do it to this one right here. Yeah! Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Well, wrecked them. Let's check it out in our enemy intel. Cuvelden. Large insects with voracious appetites found in mountainous regions. True omnivores, they eat everything, from plants to carrion, even other insects. They possess strong legs and use them to pounce at anything that moves. Is 
that, Mako? Whoa! Soldier, you can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Avoiding damage. Press R1 to block incoming attacks or press circle to move out of harm's way. Successfully blocking an attack will reduce the amount of damage taken and fill your ATB gauge. Block with perfect timing to render the attack ineffective. Got me there, I think. Oh, bad dodge. Let's stagger it. And we'll hit it with, uh, let's do a triple slash. Slash up to three enemies in quick succession. Hit multiple foes to increase potency. Can use while airborne. So probably not the best choice here, but I just wanted to show it. Piece of cake. Well, it worked. All right, so that was another new enemy. A Velocowing. Avian creatures that nest in mountainous regions. They can fly at supersonic speed, soaring past and incapacitating their prey with the ensuing shockwave. All right, Tifa, let's go. We got two enemies here targeting. Press R3 to lock onto a specific enemy. Use the right stick to switch targets or press R3 to disengage. Take right. it away. So we'll lock on and focus him. You're he's done. staggered. Whoa, got hit with that charge. Uh, while he's staggered, let's go ahead and hit him with a braver. All right, I blocked it that time. And uh, let's do a focused thrust. Lunge towards an enemy with a piercing strike that hits multiple times. Significantly increases stagger, so it should stagger for sure. But that's bar almost full. And it let's did. Finish this. And I guess we can just finish it off with a braver. I saw the charge coming, but I misdodged it. Right, I keep jumping around too much. All right, here we go. Let's do. Uh, let's try triple slash with uh, both of them up here. That's pretty good. You're done. Staggered him. Oh, got beat up. Let's finish this. Braver. We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor.
Okay, equipping materia. Materia can be sent into most weapons and equipment via the materia and equipment section of the main menu. Try equipping the materia cloud was provided for this mission. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, review the materia tutorial? Yes. Equipping materia. You can now equip materia to your weapons and armor. Begin tutorial. So first, open the materia and equipment menu. Next, select cloud. By pressing triangle, you can set materia into your weapons and armor. Materia can be equipped to any open slots in your weapons above and armor below. All right, so this slot is fine and we're going to equip the assess materia. Equipping materia will grant access to new spells and abilities, or even boost your stats. Experiment with different combinations and discover which loadout works best for you and your party. Finish tutorial. All right, uh, let's see, improving materia. Materia set into your equipment will gain ability points, AP, with every battle. Once enough AP is accrued, your materia will improve, further enhancing its effects and the potency of its spells. For example, take the fire materia. One star allows the caster to use fire, two stars gives you Fira, and three stars gives you Faraga. All right, but let's uh, take a closer look at that materia that we slotted in. So, Assass allows you to view enemy info with Assass, and at level one, it assesses a single target. I don't think I have any other materia. Nope, I got healing, fire, ice, and assess. Okay, let's go. We're leading the charge. Switching modes with Cloud. Press triangle to activate a character's unique ability. Cloud, for example, can switch modes while fighting alternating between the balanced operator mode and the offense-oriented punisher mode. So, we'll do punisher mode. In punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but Square can unleash a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. It's on now. All right, oh, well, it's super pressured, but I do want to get this assess off on it. So, launching them up into the air or exploiting their elemental weakness with magic attacks will pressure them, and they are weak to ice. You're done. See ya. All right, well, probably massive overkill, but let's just hit it with a blizzard. Time to get chill. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Exploitative practices, exploit an enemy's weakness. We got another trophy. And uh, how's our health doing? It's doing all right. We don't need to heal. But we should heal at some. Break these boxes. Well, actually, are we? We're basically full MP. Let's just go ahead and cure ourselves. There we go. Alright, nothing over there. We got some boxes over here, though. Go ahead and use Assess. Exploiting their elemental weakness or evading right before they charge will pressure them, which we just saw with the evade. And they are weak to uh, air, to wind. Oh, crap. I can just... 
just go ahead and... Oh, I thought I had a wind uh, spell, but apparently I don't. Alright, well, never mind. In that case, maybe we'll just do a triple slash. That's pretty good. Oh, he's still alive? Finish him up. There we go. You're done. Well, that's that. Okay. Let's keep ascending. Got some boxes over here. And over here as well. Mega potion. That should come in handy. Oh wait, ran right past that box. Two mixed high potions. Alright, we got a box up here. Two high potions. And you can see there's some materia. What do we got? Wind materia. Well, that's what I was thinking of. We now have some. Let's get that slotted in. We'll go ahead and put it right here. Allows you to use wind magic. Level one is arrow. Bridges out. Okay, backtrack. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Exploring your surroundings. Approach locations marked with the blue upwards chevron. To perform context-sensitive actions, such as squeezing through tight spaces or climbing up ladders. So, right here. through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. <sighs> Lead on. Yes! All right, well, we're clearly coming up to a large building. Thing around. Sephiroth opened the door. I don't see anything else. Let's go in. Mako measurement facility. Got a high potion. And we have some materia. Uh, let's see, an orb of level boost materia. Let's take a look at this. Oops, wrong button. Level boost materia increases the level of the linked materia by one. It has no effect when paired with materia at maximum level. So right now, it would boost our ice. I don't know how much we care about that, but eh, may as well do it for now. So there we go. Ice is boost to level two. We have Blizzara. Okay, 
enemies. Some boxes over here. Got a high potion. there quite a good counter let's go ahead and hit this thing with an assess humanoid fiends that make their home on Mount Nebel previously unseen in the region sightings began after the local reactor started malfunctioning they brandish an iron mace at the end of one arm which they swing around with ease inflicting enough damage will pressure them frontal melee attacks will be ineffective while they swing their maces which is kind of all the time uh, and they are weak to fire. Let's actually change up our materia. Oh, wait, I forgot I can't do it in battle. All right, well, maybe we'll, uh, in the future, boost up our fire materia to level two. Right, hit him with fire. Burn down. All right, he's pressured. Let's finish this. And with the stagger, we'll just finish with a breaker. Break yourself. Piece of cake. Okay, so I think we will be better served by boosting our fire, because that's just gonna be useful for more enemies. So let's go ahead and swap fire with ice. Okay. That should help. And we lost a decent amount of health there. Let's go ahead and use a Mega Potion. That'll restore 1,500 HP. All right, back in action. Let's see, we got a chest here. Obtained a bottle of ether. And I don't think there's anything back here, but let me check. Nope, nothing there. The reactor may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoned again. Access restricted due to Mako gas concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear excess Mako gas. All right, search for a way to get rid of the gas. Let's fight those. Use the purifier connected to this Mako processing unit. All right, so. Hold L2, and then move this around with the uh, left stick, well, left and right sticks. Mako gas levels reduced by 20%. And vacuum up the muck. Mako gas levels reduced by 70%. Granted. Okay, the Mako is gone. The elevator is accessible. Southern Ridge Summit Approach. So we've got some boxes here. Mega potion and a high potion in there. Another mega potion. Another mega potion. 
And nothing there. All right, go went up. Rain has begun. You see over here we have a chest. An elixir. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Cross the bridge. Well, this doesn't seem like the most stable bridge. in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? <sighs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Climbing. Approach a scalable wall or rock face to begin your ascent. Then use the left stick to leap from one hold to the next. Note that you can also climb down such surfaces. And Sephiroth is now in the party, and unfortunately we lost one of our companions. Hopefully he's okay, but didn't look good. Made it up and we've got some enemies. Taking a breather, sitting at a rest stop or sleeping at lodgings will fully restore both HP and MP. No need for that. And let's go in. Nope. 
Switching characters. Switching to a different character can provide an advantage in battle. Alternatively, you can order your allies to attack while controlling the same character. Use up and down or left and right to switch characters, or up and down or left and right on the D-pad to switch characters. Use L2 or R2 to issue commands to allies. Note that you can also switch characters while guarding. Fighting as Sephiroth. Press square to slash with the Masamune, or hold to unleash a ranged attack. Landing a certain number of attacks will allow you to perform branching finishers like pierce or sword dance with triangle, filling your limit gauge. Press R1 to enter retaliation stance. While in this stance, press square at the right time to parry an incoming attack. Alright, so Sephiroth, obviously very powerful. So long. Right, let me try his um, retaliation stance. Or not. Changing party leaders. Sephiroth is the current party leader, meaning you will control him at the start of combat. To change your party leader, go to the combat settings section of the main menu, then select the character and press triangle to designate them as the new leader. Well, I'm happy with uh, Sephiroth being the leader for now. We still explore as Cloud, but as soon as we get into combat, we're controlling Sephiroth. And I almost forgot to pick up our materia over here. That is an orb of HP up materia. That could be good. So let's see. We definitely don't want to get rid of Assess. We have our ice materia. We could drop the ice materia. Let's remove this. And we'll put in the HP up materia. Increases your max HP. This bonus cannot see or cannot exceed plus 30% when more than one is equipped. And at level one, it gives 10% max HP. I'll take it. And then I think Sephiroth already has wind, but let's see. He's got, yeah, he's got some crazy material. Okay, let's keep going. <sighs> More Mako gas ahead. <laughs> There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Mako, this thing is dangerous. Let's hit. Oh, wait. Let's not get hit by that. And let's do a very powerful arrow. Nah, I don't need to overkill. Let's just do level one. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Trivial. All right, so you can see we've got some materia over here. Oh, and some boxes. Obtained an orb of empowerment materia. Well, let's take a look at this. And I don't know if Sephiroth has that currently. Let's see, does he have empowerment? He does not, actually. Up, oh, Sephiroth's materia cannot be changed at present. Never mind, it won't let me give him materia. So, only Cloud. Uh, so let's take a look at what it is, and then we can decide if we want it or not. We could replace Wind, because Sephiroth has much better. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll drop that. And Empowerment Materia allows you to use physical and magic attack strengthening spells. Pairing with warding materia grants resistance to physical and magic attack reduction. Uh, so, level one gives bravery, which I believe is a physical attack boost. We can try it.
Alright, nothing over there. It's a dead end. this area. I know there's shinies in this general vicinity, but I can't remember exactly where, but I think it's further in. A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man. But him, he is anything but. <laughs> we should press on. Yeah, that is quite the formation. Okay, let's keep looking around, because I feel like that shiny was close. Oh, and we've got some company. Now we're talking. Here we go. <laughs> Seth Rob is getting a little beat up here. Oh, I missed my... Oh, there we go. I got a team player. Use the synergy skill. Oh, apparently I used the synergy skill. <laughs> Let's just hit him with some fire. This is not going great. Fire for you. He's gone. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right, well, what's that shiny I'm thinking of? Must be further up. Maybe it's up there? That was a little suspicious. Let's see if it's up here. No? Huh. I feel like I'm going crazy. I know there was a shiny around here somewhere, but... Everything in these caves kind of looks the same, so... Let's just keep looking. We got some enemies. Oh, and a new enemy. Bring it on. Let's um, switch to Cloud. Because I want to do an assess on that new enemy. 
So abilities assess on the twin brain. Grotesque creatures that make their home on Mount Nibur. Previously unseen in the region, sightings began after the local reactor started malfunctioning. When they sense danger, they let out an ear-splitting screech. They become pressured during screech. Alright, and we don't know any weaknesses, but they will get pressured. You're done. Oh, got me with a gaze. Unblockable attacks. When an enemy is about to use an attack that cannot be guarded against, the exclamation mark symbol will appear. Take evasive action when that mark displays next to an opponent's skill name. Yeah. Oh. Well, Sephiroth just stopped me from getting uh, something nasty on me. It's gone now. Oh, screeching again. That was incantation. Didn't get it on. This way. I am so confused. I could have sworn that there was a shiny in here. Yet, I have not seen it. Alright, let me look one more time. I, I swear I found a shiny in here. Where is it hiding? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I knew I'd found a shiny down here. I don't know how I kept missing that. But there it is. That is the Orb of Spare Change Materia. All right, so not sure if we want it or not, but we will take a look. Um, not in place of healing. Well, actually, maybe in place of healing because we do have items that are way better. Um, so let's see. Spare change materia allows you to consume gill to damage enemies with spare change. The more gill you throw, the more damage you will deal to your targets. Oh, no. I don't want to throw money. I'm good. Okay, so now that we got that, let's continue forward. Up we go again. Oh, broke on me. Heads up. Now we're talking. Let's see. Let's go for that twin brain. Get him out of here as quickly as possible. Staggered. He's gone. And we can just go ahead and do an arrow and get him out of here. Well, that's that. And I guess we haven't checked out Sephiroth's abilities yet, so we should do that. All right. Now, you can see there's a materia down there. Let's go grab it. Hey, cheaters, I took the safe way down. All right, what do we got here? Magnify materia. So 
So let's take a look. Magnify allows you to expand the range of spells with the linked materia. To switch back to a single target, press L1 when selecting a spell. So expand range of linked materia, potency modified by minus 60% when expanded. So you can hit multiple targets if you choose, but you'll do less damage to each target. I don't think we want to magnify, so we're just gonna say no to that. Okay, let's climb back up. Yeah, you can see some material up there. Oh, synergy skills. While guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of synergy skills. Useful abilities that do not consume ATB charges. The available skills differ depending on which character is being actively controlled. Press the touchpad while guarding to view descriptions of these skills. Now we're talking. All right, so let's try one. We have dual blade dance. Do it. Oh, that wasn't particularly useful. Let's try it again. Oh, wait. Wait till the tornado's done, and now we'll try it. Go play dance. So, yeah, it's a nice little combo there. Let's see what we can do with Cloud. Let's do a Void Shatter. Filling the Stagger Gauge. Inflicting enough damage or exploiting an elemental weakness will place the enemy in a pressured state, making it easier for you to fill the Stagger Gauge below its HP bar. Once the gauge is full, the enemy will become momentarily staggered, leaving it defenseless. Use the accessibility on an enemy to discover its vulnerabilities. Well, nice. And that does remind me, I should do an assess now. Oh, well, dang it, I pressed the button. Oh, now it's gone. Uh, Synergy skills is showing up again for some reason. That's weird. Oh, there we go. All right, so the zoo. Avian creatures that live in mountainous regions, they are unafraid of people, going so far as to abduct children and terrorize the locals. Exploiting their weakness or inflicting enough damage will pressure them. Weak to arrow. Alright, well, we'll switch Sephiroth. back to Sephiroth and we'll do arrow on it. Oh, pressured, staggered, stagger bonus. Enemies that have been staggered are left defenseless and take more damage. Striking staggered foes with triangle unique abilities will quickly fill your ATB gauge, allowing you to unleash devastating skills to finish off your opponent. All right, so this is a good time to use one of Sephiroth's abilities. He's got Zanshin. Launch rending waves of energy at an enemy. You can use while airborne, we'll do that. Let's push the cloud. I got, got enough ATB to do Braver. We'll switch back to Sephiroth. And we'll have him do Hell's Gate. Descend from the skies and impale an enemy. Yes, gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Alright, uh, we are getting a little low on health. Let's go ahead and use a Mega Potion on Cloud. And a Mega Potion on Sephiroth. All right, let's continue. And you can see there's a chest there in the box. We got a Mega Potion. Okay, so if you remember earlier, we saw some materia, it's right here. It's precision defense focus materia. So let's see what it does. Improves the functionality of blocking with perfect timing. Extend input timing window for precision defense. Uh, yeah, I'll take that instead of healing because I can just use items. So that sounds good to me. Oh, nice. 
Alright, don't think we've done an assess on these yet. Oh crap. I'm on the wrong character. Stand back. Bye. Don't kill it yet. Sephiroth. Assess. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Well, didn't tell me too much, but they're weak to ice. This won't be the last. Okay, go one up. No, nope, materia up the stairs. Auto cast materia. Uh, let's see. Allows an ally to automatic automatically use spells with the linked materia when not actively controlled during combat or during battle. So level one, activate auto cast. I never really understood why you would really want this, so I'm not going to use it. But it's an option. Break those boxes. Whole bunch of boxes over here. Jeez. Ether, two mega potions, a oh, whole bunch of stuff. Phoenix down, bunch of mega potions. Lots of good stuff in there. All right, going up. So once again, we need to vacuum up Mako. So let's go ahead and push this. Cable's not long enough. Look for another way through and continue clearing the Mako gas. So you can see our cable's not gonna be able to do that, but we can open this door, which will solve our problem. Right. Gonna be a little stubborn to get back here again. Come on, come on, there we go. Let go. All right, there we go. Now we got it. It really does not want to turn. Come on. Turn for me. There we go. Watch out, Tifa. You're going to get crushed. Be pancaked. Okay, before we move on, make sure to come over here. Yeah, I thought it was over here. Yeah, over here. And break those boxes. And you can see there's some materia here. Comet materia. So, what does Comet do? Use Comet. Allows you to use celestial spells. Well, that seems very, very strong. And if we uh, combine it with our level boost materia, we get Comet 2. So I think that's definitely worth it. Let's throw that in. And I don't think we want to keep the fire anymore. And besides, Sephiroth has fire. So I think we're good just uh, keeping that on cloud and keeping the fire off. So yeah, let's do that. Cool. All right, time to move on. All right. 
This area has a uh, chest in it. It's got an elixir. There's a bench there if you need it. Let's go down, because you can see there's another chest. And elixir. On health, pretty good. Let's just top cloud off. Up ahead, looks like a way out. Wait. Go ahead and assess it. Maybe try mixing it up more. Materia Guardian, a ferocious beast that dwells within the caves of Mount Nebel. Prolonged exposure to Mako has caused it to mutate. Its dangerously sharp claws allow it to scale the walls and hang from the ceiling with alarming ease, granting it full control of the battlefield. Evading its capture attempts or freeing captured allies will pressure it. Destroying its legs while it is on the ceiling will also pressure it. And weaknesses are fire. I imagine the comet's gonna do some work on it. So that's what we'll plan to do. Try to keep your guard up. Oh, I got caught. I have Sephiroth save me. Discrete enemy parts. Certain enemies may have individual body parts that you can target and attack. Destroying these discrete parts can pressure your foe or prevent it from unleashing powerful abilities. Not so Alright, so we need some ATB. And we'll do a spell. Fire. Actually, let's do Fyra. At the left hind leg. <laughs> Unfettered friendship. Free a bound ally. Alright, he's pressured. Let's get some damage in there. We'll do uh Hell's Gate. Let's switch the cloud. I'll try to mix it up a little. Let's do. Uh, ooh, Comet's so expensive. Let's wait on Comet. We'll do a bravery on ourselves. Defense cloud. Ow. You need to bury your attack. Oh no! Oh, he caught me again. You're in good hands. All right, that's okay. We'll free him real quick. Let's do just a regular fire, that should be fine. Get it together. I owe you one. When we're done. Of course. On me. Let's have Cloud heal himself. We'll do a uh, Mega Potion for Cloud. And then Good. Sephiroth, I want you to do Fyra on, let's do the right foreleg. That was good. Well, let's see, we can, oh, well, we Got brought him down. Move in. Do uh, Hell's Gate. Your 
And then Cloud, maybe we have you do that. Pop. Oh, season claws now! Ah, every time he gets hit. Alright, fire! Left hind leg. Alright, he's pressured. We should be able to get the stagger here. Oh, or not. Stagger already. What are you doing? Sephiroth and Cloud's synergy ability. Turn the tables on the beast of the mountain with a coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Use their double helix synergy ability from the commands menu to bring the Materia Guardian crashing down to the cave floor. All right. Do that. I need to... I got this. Wait, where is it? Oh, right. Synergy ability. I was thinking the other thing. All right, so synergy ability here. We have double helix. Sephiroth unleashes an elegant flurry of strikes, and Cloud does his best to follow suit. Raises Cloud's limit level, and grants Sephiroth unlimited MP. Yes, sir. Whoa. That was insane. We've got a little bit more time to do some damage. Um, it got its attack off as we got ours off though, so that hurt a little bit. We'll do Hell's Gate with Sephiroth. We'll do uh, with Cloud. Let's actually do Comet. Let's do some serious damage here. And then Sephiroth, just to play it safe, he can uh, actually. He has a like a really strong cure, but we'll do Item instead. Mega Potion on Cloud. Here comes the Comet! Mucus Discharge, oh! Stand back! Might want to steer clear of the gas. Watch the gas! Let me just, uh... Oh, uh... Mega Potion to Sephiroth. Leaping Crush! Oh, got out of the way. What are you doing up there? Let's see, your Synergy Ability's not ready, so we'll just do... Uh... We could go for the Void attack thing. Let's worry about Sephiroth first. Oh, he's got nothing, unfortunately. Oh, but he's almost ready. Let's Come see. On. We'll do... Whoop. Wait, hold on. Crap. I got this. We'll do voice chat. Copy. Oh! Limit breaks. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use limit breaks, which are extremely powerful attacks. You do not need to spend ATB charges to use these attacks. Watch your health. The game will end when all party members' HP reaches zero. Be sure to use potions and healing spells to regenerate HP before it is too late. Yeah, let's do... Um, let's see, we'll have Sephiroth do... an elixir on Cloud. Sephiroth, little help? All right, limit break's ready. Let's see, we have Ascension. Focus on a single enemy and deliver several powerful strikes. Significantly increase the stagger or cross slash. Damage your foe while making an ominous symbol with your slashes. We'll do a cross slash. <laughs> eh, it wasn't that impressive. All right, then we'll do uh, Braver. 
Oh, synergy abilities ready. Let's do double helix. Elixir for Sephiroth. And the counter killed it. Take it from here. Missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand up guy. Well, he was, and now he's pure evil trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. civilians even if we weren't on a mission come on keep the young lady safe carry on <sighs> you better keep me safe Okay, let's take a look. Sorry, Tifa. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Okay, let's take the elevator. Dark. All right, here we go. Well, that's uh, quite the door, but this way. to your sword first.
Gojo. You are really something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... The malfunction must be forcing the pods depressurized. Cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy. Okay, we're on it. Close the valve. We gotta hold L2 and R2. And it's quite rusty, so it's gonna take a few goes. Shut it off, let's get back in. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going.
Okay. Let's see where Sephiroth went off to. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? So, how was the reactor? Did you find out what was wrong with it? Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Hmm, Sephiroth. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet. But the man was not in a good mood. Hmm, Sephiroth. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Okay, so they're going off to the manor to see what's up with Sephiroth. Let's look around a little bit. Now that it's nighttime, it's less people. Mostly just the guard. Hey, thanks for helping keep our village safe. Haven't seen Sephiroth, at least not around here. Thanks so much for checking out the reactor. You should get some rest. We can keep an eye on things here. Alright, what about over here at the entrance we first came in? It's pretty late. You should get some rest, soldier. A little nighttime fun. Gotta make sure their perimeter is good. Yep, alright, you got it? Cool. Nothing out of the ordinary so far tonight. Don't worry, Sonny. If a fiend rears its head, I'll shout for someone quicker than you can say Shinra. We had this big dinner planned, but it got called off when Sephiroth didn't show. The photographer. I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. Well, I got you. Any chance you could convince him to autograph that photo I took? I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. All right, well, we're going to follow this group. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Hope everything's okay. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor, the company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Go and check on Sephiroth for us, will ya? Hurry, please. Go and check on Sephiroth. All right. For us. Hurry, please. I'll check on him. 
Let's see. I can't remember if there was anything over here, but I don't believe so. Nope. No. Let's go inside. This place is fancy. Seen better days though. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Alright, well, they do have an elevator. to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. The door is locked. Not that way. There he is. from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L-77-1977. Genova, verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L-913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gath. Wondrous experiment! He created you?
I should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey, hold on! Keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Need your help. Watch out! Please. Oh, not good. Secure the way out now. Yes, sir. Zephyr? But he. Why would he? Oh, that log really messed up Claude's leg. Can barely move. Backtrack. Oh no, it's the photographer. Alright, I gotta get to mom.
I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth. Wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs>
promised you'd save me. If I was ever trapped or in trouble. who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. 
Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <sighs> yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering... What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but... As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Okay, where are you taking me, Tifa? Got some good music in this town. Here's Tifa. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe. 
believe I'm having this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zangon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. All right, well, let's get some rest. We've got some complications with Tifa. Before we get some rest, though, let's come down here. Let's talk to this guy. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Okay, let's head back upstairs. And Tifa's actually waiting. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. to fight no we have enough problems as it is copy night tomorrow is another day Alrighty, so that is the end of chapter one. We've moved into chapter two. We got yet another trophy. We picked up a, a ton of trophies in that first chapter. And we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.